Hi friends, namaste and welcome. Thanks for joining me for this 30-minute yin yoga practice. And give yourself love by igniting that inner spark with nourishing deep stretches to open energies for the body, mind, and your spirit. I'm Rebecca, this is Body Illumination. Okay, if you are ready to have an amazing day, grab your mat and meet me in a seated posture. I'm using two blocks, a pillow, a Pilates ball, which you may substitute with a child's ball like this pink one that I borrowed from my kids. You are welcome to modify with other props or none. I will provide visual and verbal modifications. Let's ground ourselves here and create some clarity by setting your intention. Friends, you may notice during each pose words, ideas, affirmations. Those are to help cultivate intentions or a sankalpa to redirect to our positive energies. So let's now connect to your uniqueness and beautiful intent for your practice and maybe even the rest of your day. Inhaling that energy and then exhale through the nose, letting the breath go, allowing and making space. Okay, friends, let's move into a cat cow now. Feeling your natural extension and flexion in the spine and this beautiful movement, arching and lifting the heart and rounding, tucking the tail and the chin. Inhale, lift the heart and the tail, and exhale, round, and lift the middle of your spine upward. Guide the body through one or two more rounds. Then float back into your hips, guiding yourself into a child's pose. Now move your upper body to the left, opening the side body up, and the gallbladder energy lines. The gallbladder meridian influences our judgment, our decisions, our digestion, and your muscle and connective tissue constitution. If any emotions rise up or if you are uncertain in a pose, connect to your breath, which is also a nice rule for life. Your breath will connect you to that intuitive beauty inside.
friends, when you hear that sound, we are reaching the end of this posture and we will begin to transition. Slowly move toward center. Let's come up and lunge the right leg forward, moving into a dragon. Today, I encourage you to keep this dragon elevated as we morph into a twist. Keep the toes tucked in the back leg, revolve over to the right and feel the play inside your hip flexor. Of course, move down towards the earth or use props as you find your unique expression. Send the breath into the hardness and allow the breath to permeate. Notice what comes up without judgment and watch it begin to transform. Okay, slowly unwind and simply step forward with your back leg. Fold forward and elongate your spine into Uttanasana or dangling in our yin flow. Let's play with external rotation through the feet and legs. When we revisit this, we will do some internal rotation. Bend the knees and reach your chest towards your thighs. Start with a little chin tuck and sit bone lift, and then soften. In this pose, the urinary bladder energy line is stimulated. Kidney, stomach, and spleen get some love, detoxification, and compression. Dangling pose helps to re-energize the body. Maybe place your hands on props if you choose to do so. This is a wonderful pose to empty out and let go of everything.
When you are ready, let's float to the other end of the mat in the same pose. Step the left leg out wide and straddle the long side of your mat. Then move the left leg over to the short edge and the right leg steps forward. Both feet ground with internal rotation this time. Notice without any judgment if you feel more sensation with the internal or the external rotation. And just allow your spine to cascade over your legs. Okay, beautiful friends, let's continue to rewind the sequence and step back with your right leg into a high lunge. Beginning with the twist, staying elevated and keeping the toes tucked of the back leg. Then give yourself some time to intuitively feel what you need to. Twisting, lifting the heart, and if you choose to, maybe start to bow forward but again play with the elevation and see what surfaces
Okay, let's come back towards center. Take the left leg back to meet the right. And then find child's pose. Soften here and begin to side bend over towards your right side. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and side bend. Open this side body into a beautiful arch. Join me when you are ready and move back towards center. Let's come up. Keeping your legs bent underneath you, I am using a ball for toes pose. You can modify with a small pillow or an eye pillow or no props at all. The, this prop gives some feedback to access the compression in the big toe joint across the met head, the metatarsal head. Opening the big toe mound on the base of the foot and it turns on the sensations within the inner arch. Add in the upper body. This is another option. Take your hands forward on one or two blocks. Fingertips face you and play with the height here. We can access the many layers of ligaments and fascia over the tendons of the finger flexors. As always, if you have any existing issues here or sharp pains that surface, then modify or interlace your hands behind your back. For the feet, consider keeping weight across the webbing between the big toe and the second toe, accessing what is referred to as the four gateways in the body. Pad your knees to modify this intensity. Send the feet nourishing breath while helping with mobility and strength.
Okay, let's release this. Rinse out the wrists and the feet. Then bring the soles of your feet together for butterfly. Yogi's choice here, maybe melt over a pillow or a bolster using a block or a prop to add in the upper body is also a delicious experience. Try placing the elbows on a block and reaching your hands into prayer back towards your head, opening the lungs, the pericardium and the heart energy lines. You can also place your forearms on blocks and lengthen through your side body. This is a nice blend to wrap yourself forward into a folded cocoon and then lengthen your arms forward like wings. Rise out of your butterfly expression and let's move on to the backside, now coming into our final pose. Take any final movements here, maybe windshield wipe the legs or do whatever your body is calling for. Find quiet and a sense of ease here as you connect to the flow of breath, the spaciousness you created in the body, allowing stillness, let go of energies that are not serving you, connecting to the natural rhythms and the body's wisdom.
If you'd like to stay here on your back a bit longer, please do. Or begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Start to deepen the breath. Maybe stretch out your jaw. Then come over to one side. And come up to a seat and let's close our practice together. As we end our practice and continue with our life Let's connect to that intention. Connect to the transformation in your body, in your spirit, in your mind. Bring your hands to your heart center. Om Shanti, 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 Namaste. Thank you for sparkling your beautiful light with me on the mat today. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to share it subscribe to Body Illumination to join me on the mat again soon and find Body Illumination and follow on social media like Facebook or Instagram, Twitter. Lots of love to you all and see you soon. Namaste.